the second one. His long shot in the corner. After a pair of wins in the U.S. Open Cup, the Timbers are back to MLS play and back to Providence Park this weekend. We'll look ahead to Saturday's match with the Houston Dynamo. Ross breaks down the Timbers' attack, which might now be the most dangerous in the league. And Timbers defender Julio Cascante is our guest. It's Timbers in 30, and it starts right now. This is Timbers in 30, presented by AT&T. Welcome to Timbers in 30. Welcome to our new set. I'm Jake Sivan. It's a new look for our show. We're a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more informal. And helping us break in this new set for the first time, Timbers defender Julio Cascante, our guest. Julio, thanks for coming on. No, thank you for inviting me. How are you? You've uh, been in Portland now for like a season and a half. It's your second season. What do you think of being part of the club, being part of the city? Well, I think uh, I feel so good. Uh, this this time with, with living with with the with my family like literally because I call my teammates like family I spend more time with them than, than usually and I think it's very good the city I love it uh, the supporters you feel like that's that's that you feel like at home so that's what about, very good what about the uh, what about the English language as well you were brave <laughs> last year to come on with us and, and your, your interview was of course very good but how has it progressed and you learned English for uh, for supporters who didn't watch the show last year you learned it actually through music when you're in Costa Rica rap R&B that's how you learn the, the English language how has it progressed well I think like uh, I feel better like talking <laughs> English because I think that well you have to talk with your teammates uh, you know with Jeff because you, you need that communication on, yeah. the, on the field so, so for me, it's, it's very good because I, I need to, to get getting better, you know, so. You talked about your, your family, your teammates, yeah. your actual family yeah. are here. Your parents from Costa Rica, they've come. They're just behind the, the camera here. <laughs> what do they think of Portland and what's it like for them coming into the city? Yeah, they really like it, actually. Yes. Uh, well, just my mom, as yeah. she said, she, she always called. I don't know why, <laughs> because we are in summer right now. Yeah. <laughs> but she always called. And, but no, no, they, they really like it. They are... They are enjoying the, the city, uh, everything. So yeah, your dad's got a different top every time I see him. Tottenham Hotspurs, Juventus. <laughs> you said he's got Man City at home. No allegiance. Uh, is his allegiance Portland Denver's? Well, he I don't know. He he feels like very happy. Yeah, very happy here. So that's the that's the the good thing. You know, like uh, if they are happy, I'm happy. Right. So. It's, you guys, parents got to, I imagine, come to the game on Wednesday night, uh, the U.S. Open Cup. You didn't feature in that match, but a good win, uh, obviously, for the team, 4 nothing over L.A. What were your thoughts uh, on the match? What does it do for the team? No, I think that, that, that gives us that confidence to, to keep working because a win, 4-0, uh, uh, that we have, like, uh, I don't know, since the beginning, that we don't have... Uh, Zero on the on the old goal, so that's a good 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 thing uh, that for us to think about. We should start from now to to think about that. Uh, don't receive goal goal any any more goals. So so it's good it's good. That was a big big win uh, to keep us uh, in this U.S. Cup. Uh, we want to win it actually. The players looked really fresh. There was an extra bounce to their step. How nice is it to be home? Yeah. Do you feel rejuvenated and knowing that for the majority of the rest of the season, you're going to be home? Yeah, uh, that's, we are so happy because we were like 12 games away, away yeah. home. And that's so hard. It's really hard because you have to like fly and come back just for two, three days and go back to the flight. And that's really hard, but finally we are home and we have to, to take advantage about that. How do you spend your time on that long road trip? Who is your roommate most often? Who do you hang out with? And when you have time on the road, what do you, what do, you do? Well, uh, my roommate normally is, is Andy, Andy Polo. Yeah. So that's the guy who I spend more time with him. Uh, you no, know, because we are like literally alone here in, in the city. So we usually spend time, we go out like uh, to take uh, dinner or lunch. 
So, yeah, that's the guy. Is it cool to, to see all these cities? I mean, often when you guys are on the road, you're, you're staying right downtown in a pretty nice hotel. We're often there, you know, there with you as well for, for, the, for broadcast purposes. Do you enjoy exploring the, the different cities or at least kind of getting a feel of what these different cities in North America are like? Yeah, when we have time, yeah. yeah. We, we like, like, just go out to, to chill, like we say. And, but when the, the game is just, like, around the corner, we, we don't like, like, go out and... We just like to re dress in the room and just play video games or just relax. With it being your second year, when you do go out, do you find you get recognized? Portland Simmers, obviously, with the, the crowd and the amount of the, the support. Do you go into the city and do people know who Julio Cascante is? I love that. I love yeah. that when, when someone <laughs> wants some, when some supporters just stop me and yeah. ask me for a for an autograph or for a picture. I love that. So <laughs> all the fans, if they, they would see me in the, at the mall or walking around the city, they, they, they can feel comfortable and just ask me for anything because I, I, I love that. A lot more fans getting to know you, 4,000 new fans at yeah. Providence Park coming in. What did you make of the, the stadium reopening against LAFC and, and the noise, the atmosphere? Yeah, well, I know it wasn't the, 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 the score that we want. Yeah. But for us, it was a very good because we, we saw that reaction about the of supporters, that the stadium was full, was full, and, and that's that's incredible, that's amazing for us because they gave us that that vibe, that that's that support in all the game. So that's that's very good for us. You guys will be back at home on Saturday against Houston. Let's start to look at that match against the Houston Dynamo. We'll begin with the Western Conference standings entering this weekend, coming out of the Gold Cup break for MLS. Timbers are on 14 points, which is last in the West, but they've, of course, only played one home game, and they've played 13 games overall, which is two fewer than every other team in the West, except for Houston, who's also played just 13. They're in fourth with 24 points. The Timbers, after the Open Cup win over LA on Wednesday night, is our Advocare training report. Today was a very good performance. I thought that uh, the guys in, in some moments, uh, you know, are getting closer and closer where we want to be. Um, and we need to continue to work. So there's still a lot to play uh, during the season. And we need to make sure that we keep, you know, in a line going forward and, and becoming better every single match. I think we, we have a very, very big team. Uh, we need uh, for everybody. So I think the next three games was important for us because uh, we need to to start to win uh, in, in MLS for for start uh, is, uh, for go inside to the playoff. We know that we have a lot of players in this team to, to play this kind of games. Even if in the first half, I think we played, uh, we played uh, well we could shoot, we, we, we could have done better and uh, we tried to do this uh, in the second half. I think it was the same. We, we had a very good game and uh, as I said, we, we just want we, we just want to build some confidence to, to, uh, to be able to, to, to play better towards the end of the season. Our local Ford stores look ahead is focused on the Houston Dynamo, who are in fourth place in the West. Their 24 points through 13 games is the second best points per game in MLS, but they're kind of the opposite of the Timbers. They played just four games on the road this season. That's by far the fewest in the league, and they've lost three of those four road matches. They'll be missing some important players on Saturday because of the Gold Cup, including Albert Elise and Minor Figueroa. And they were dumped out of the Open Cup on Tuesday night by Minnesota, who came back from down 2-0 to win 3-2. Yeah, we're getting just a little bit of a preview with the U.S. Open Cup of what it could look like, the depleted Houston Dynamo squad. At the Gold Cup, there are 21 teams in MLS represented, and I just feel the Dynamo are one of the teams most affected in the way of missing impact main name players. But available to Wilmer Cabrera, the manager, top goal scorer with a tally of six, more Minotis, you're likely to see him, as well as Memo Rodriguez, who has scored five goals, also around Tomas Martinez, who was brought in that number 10 position to break down teams, which he hasn't done on a consistent basis. What do you expect from Houston Dynamo this weekend, a team that are going to sit in and they're going to rely on the aforementioned three players to go and get a goal, whether it's off a Timbers mistake, off a counterattack. I look at this Houston Dynamo team, Julio, and you played very well away at BBVA Compass Stadium. You started in that game. How much confidence does it give you taking on Houston Dynamo, given your last performance against them? Well, yeah, uh, for a soccer player, it's always important, you know, is to play. Yeah. So I think uh, if you start or even if you just come into the game, it's, it's, it's a good that uh, give you that, that, that 
that confidence to keep working to to help your teammates when when they feel like that they, that they need that push. So so for me, it's it's good. Uh, if if I play, I will give my everything, you know. But let's see, let's see. We we need to to keep working on, on this. You've played eight straight MLS matches. You mentioned at the start in Houston. You've, all, you've also seen you often come off the bench to try to seal a result when the team kind of will switch to, to three center backs. What's your mentality uh, in those moments when, when you're coming on at the end, towards the end of a, uh, of a game, to try to finish off a result? Yeah, well, uh, as a center back, you need to give that push, how I said. Uh, you need to just, just try to keep the, that score or, or, or at least just uh, score once, one, one more goal. Okay. But, but yeah, you have to keep that, that, that strong to the defense, to the defensive side. So I think that's, that's the most important. As, as a center back, how do you rate new goal scorer <laughs> Brian Fernandez? What has made him successful coming into the team? Well, for me, he's an it's a incredible player. Uh, he, I think he has what I think is the, the best. Uh, Four in this one of the best four in this league because he moved, he he run every one ball. He's like he's uncomfortable for the defenders, yeah. for, so that's 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 good for me. He he had like that hungry to score every game, so for us they they give a lot, that that confidence because if you feel like under pressure, you just can head up and and try to play with him and he will resolve. Yeah. Julio, thank you so much for coming in and helping us break in this new set. <laughs> First guest on the new set, Julio Cascante. Good luck on Saturday night against Houston. Thank you so much. It'll be the Timbers and the Dynamo Saturday night at Providence Park at 8 p.m. If you can't make it to the match, you can watch the match this weekend on Root Sports. And it's a busy time for Julio and the Timbers. A couple days after playing Houston, they'll hop on a plane to head to Montreal, where they'll play the Impact at 4.30 Pacific time on Wednesday night. That match you can watch right here on Fox 12 Oregon. You can, of course, listen to both matches on 102.9 at 7.50 the game. Coming up later on in the show, Ross Smith breaks down the Timbers' attack, led by an Argentinian trio that could be the most dangerous in MLS. And up next, it's the breakaway. Storylines from outside of Portland, including Ross's Gold Cup thoughts. Here's your chance to win a trip to the MLS All-Star Match in Orlando, Florida. Compliments of your local Allstate agents. Go to Timbers.com slash Allstate MLS to enter to win the Allstate MLS All-Star sweepstakes. One lucky winner will get two tickets, round trip airfare, hotel stay, and a $500 Visa gift card. Now back to Timbers and 30, presented by AT&T. It is time for the breakaway, where we look outside of Portland, usually around MLS, but because of the Gold Cup going on, we'll start there. The United States opening up the Gold Cup on Wednesday against Guyana, and uh, they get a 4-0 win. Tyler Boyd scored a brace in his second ever cap. Paul Ariola, Jossie Zardes added the others. Yeah, big day for the wingers with Ariola and Boyd coming down that right-hand side. They're the two most exciting players, and what I worry to be a, a team that's going to struggle for big power talent. Jose Altador didn't come on. He was available off the bench. Slight fitness issues right now. Tyler Adams not available at the Gold Cup. And so you're missing two key figures. And so you want to push it on. Christian Pulisic is available. He's been playing. But you just wonder outside of him where the star power is. Could it be Boyd? At elsewhere in the Gold Cup, the match that you, Ross, were watching Go very intently. Canada. Canada versus Mexico. Mexico wins 3-1. to one. We saw what Toronto fans can do if they win a, a cup, if they win a championship with the Raptors. Now if Canada goes far in the Gold Cup, what it could lead to. A lot of promise in this team with Alfonso Davies, MLS last year, Bayern Munich now. But they did play a weak inside. It wasn't the strongest of teams that manager John Herdman put out there, but they still competed and they were at one point 2-1 down to Mexico, and they were on the front foot there. A lot of young talent through this team mixed in with a couple players with experience like Will Johnson. Canada definitely much better than they have been. They are a contender for the Gold Cup, should be a contender to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. Now, the U.S. Open Cup, of course, going on. The Timbers are in the quarterfinals. So are two USL teams, St. Louis FC beating FC Cincinnati with a 93rd-minute winner, and New Mexico United beat FC Dallas. Still waiting for Cincinnati to come into 
at MLS. It must be next year that they're going to enter in. They have been struggling, and this just caps it off. This must be one of their lowest points in the season. U.S. Open Cup losing to St. Louis, and St. Louis, for all the goal mouth actions, they were the better team, and they took advantage near the death to put Cincinnati out, which just compounds their miserable season. Well, MLS is back this weekend, and later on in the show, Ross will pick an abbreviated MLS schedule in MLS picks. But up next, it's this month's Axes and O's. Ross goes to the Telestrator to break down the Timbers' relentless attack. This season, Brew Doctor is back with custom Timbers bottles and cans. Brew Doctor Kombucha is a Portland-based kombucha company using only high-quality organic tea and botanicals to craft deliciously refreshing kombucha. Visit BrewDoctorKombucha.com to find Brew Doctor in a store near you. Now back to Timbers and 30, presented by AT&T. In his first five matches as a Timber, new forward Brian Fernandez has been on fire. He scored seven goals. And he's formed a triumvirate of Argentinian attackers that could be the best trio in the league. In this month's Axes and O's presented by Oryx Solder, Ross Smith breaks down the current look of the Timbers attack. The Timbers attack are made up with some of the best, what I would call, gamblers in this league. What makes them so good is their spacing, their speed of play, and the understanding positionally where one another are on the pitch. If we go back to one of their goals against Seattle Sounders in the US Open Cup, right away when Steve Clark gets on the ball, you can see he's on the ground, but he's already looking to see how he can go forward. Diego Chara is giving him that understanding, saying, well, that's who to go forward with. Sebastian Blanco, who's asking for the ball. Just watch how quickly the Timbers do get forward. Clark, he bowls the ball out to Sebastian Blanco. He takes one look over the right shoulder, then the left. He knows where everybody is. He breaks a line there with Valeri, and all of a sudden now, Boba sees on the front foot, and you just see Brian Fernandez. He knows where his money's made. Right in the middle of the goal. It's a great finish, great goal all around from the team, from back to front. We go LAFC then. This is the start of the second half. And how this mentality in the, in the attack, it reverberates around the whole team. Right off of the kickoff, the Timbers are behind. They know they need to get on the front foot. So they don't spend that time through the midfield. It's not the mentality that they take in to their approach. They're looking to get the ball forward. Only Viafani will be able to tell you whether he meant this pass going in behind their midfield or not. But right now, this is where the gamblers come in. Now you've got Blanco, Valeri, you've got Paredes, Fernandez. Watch this sequence. Through the first phase, it doesn't come off, second phase, but they continue to keep the LAFC pinned in. It's a good strike, good save, but now this is where the gamblers, they get up the pitch and they want to make sure they take advantage of this moment. The ball doesn't go out for a throw, and Fernandez, he makes sure that he keeps it in. Pay one eye on Fernandez now his movement. This is where he started, and so where he ends up for his eventual header on goal. Now, it's the spacing, the Timbers, they knock it, the ball around well once they win it back here, Paredes, he keeps them pinned in, this innate understanding, positional sense from Valeri. Right back to Blanco. Nobody saw that coming defensively. And then Fernandez, this header. Just want you to look. As the ball does go in, watch his reaction. Paredes, great fall. He keeps his composure. But now Fernandez, he's telling Paredes, don't celebrate, get back. We've got to get back into this game. It's that mentality that they're ruthless. They continue to play on the front foot. And it's exciting to watch. And given that gambling way with 16 games more still to come at Providence Park, there's going to be some good days ahead. Portland Thorns playing at the North Carolina Courage last weekend, a championship rematch. In the 26th minute, Celeste Bure plays a ball over the top. Midge Purse runs onto it and finishes. Purse's third goal in two games, her fourth goal of the season. She's the team leader. The Thorns go up 1-0, but North Carolina would level it up in the 59th, Julia Spetsmark with the goal. Nifty little chip. Similar goals, both of them. The match ended in a 1-1 draw. The Thorns in third place in the NWSL. The Thorns are at home tonight, hosting the Utah Royals in about an hour. 8 p.m. start. There's still plenty of time to get to the park and get a ticket at the box office. If you do stay home, you can watch it as well on Yahoo Sports. T2 hosting Fresno last weekend. It was scoreless at halftime. Brian Hurtado was taken down in the box in the first minute of the second half. He earns a penalty for T2, and it's Todd Wharton who steps up and buries it, makes it 
1-0 T2 early on in the second half. Fresno would score twice to go up 2-1, but then in stoppage time, the Cardiac kids from T2 grab a point. Nathan Smith, first time finish. 2-2 draw, T2 improves to 6-2 and 6 this season. They are in fourth place in the USL Championship Western Conference, and they're on the road this weekend playing at Orange County SC. It's a 5.30 start on Saturday. You can watch that match as you're getting ready for the Timbers and the Dynamo on ESPN+. Coming up after the break, MLS picks. Ross tries to keep his winning streak rolling on in the second half of this matchup when we return. Now back to Timbers and 30, presented by AT&T. We end our show, as always, with MLS picks. For our last show, there were a limited number of games, only four for Ross and Warren Jimenez to pick from. So Warren's back this week. Ross has a 2-1 to one lead heading into this weekend where there are five games for you guys it's to not, choose. Yeah, it's not going to get much better for Warren. <laughs> and I love this new screen. You can clearly see all my results as they come in, my brilliant picks that do come up. Part of it, I think Cincinnati will battle here, even though they've only won one game in the last 12 matches. It's going to be a common theme as we go through these picks. FC Dallas is going to be an opponent coming up for the Timbers after Montreal. You need to pay attention to that game. But then I talk about that theme. Well, Colorado, they're unbeaten in five. They won four out of the last five. They're flying, but there'll be some missing Canadians away at the Gold Cup. They'll grind out a draw. Just finally, Columbus Crew, they have only won one in 10. Sporting Kansas City, one in 11. I'll tell you, Mark Nelson needs to watch out the way Ross was gesturing. That's not bad, Dungeons. is it? He's like a weatherman right here, <laughs> Ross Smith. Uh, Timbers and Houston Dynamo, Saturday at 8 p.m. Watch it on Root Sports. Listen on 1029750, the game. Then on Wednesday, the Timbers go to Montreal. You can watch that match at 430 right here on Fox 12 Oregon. Enjoy the matches. We'll see you next week on Timbers and 30. Thank you for watching Timbers and 30, presented by AT&T. For more on the club, visit Timbers.com.